Hey, what's going on guys? So with the new character fixer being released, there are now two snipers in Rogue Company. And with the new ranked game mode finally in the game, you might want to add a sniper to your ranked team to help you reach that level 30 rank we all want so bad. And you know what? That might not be such a bad idea. However, there is one issue. I bet you're asking yourself, who should you pick? Who's better, Fixer or Phantom? Hmm? Did I just read your mind? Now in today's video, we're gonna be answering that very same question and even more. By the end of this video, we will find out which rogue is the best sniper for Rogue Company's new ranked game mode. Let's get into it. All right, so look, I think everyone here knows that both Fixer and Phantom have snipers as their primary weapons. That's not exactly rocket science. However, the first question that we're going to tackle is which sniper is better and most effective for ranked? Now, Fixer's sniper, the tier, only has two shots in a clip, but it is a one-shot headshot and does 70 damage to the body. Oh, and we cannot forget that this thing shoots pretty damn fast, allowing for quick and easy sniper kills, especially at close range. Now, as for Phantom, her sniper, the LR-15, is also a one-shot headshot, as well as doing 70 damage to the body, but it has way more than just two bullets in a clip, having at the start four bullets per clip, and then when upgraded, it is maxed out to six bullets per clip. However, Phantom Sniper does not shoot nearly as fast as Fixer's. Now, putting on the perspective of ranked, which sniper is better and more effective? Now, this was difficult, but if we're only looking at these snipers themselves, apart from the rogue's whole kit, I'm gonna have to give this one to Phantom, but keep watching because I have a lot more to say and I bet it's gonna shock the hell out of you. Now, Fixer Sniper does shoot faster. However, having that two-shot mag size puts him at a serious disadvantage. With Phantom Sniper having the large mag size, she is significantly more effective at doing what a traditional sniper is meant to do, and that's staying in the back, holding corners, and picking off the enemy team one by one. However, that does not necessarily mean that Phantom is better at getting kills. Now hear me out because this part is crucial and here's where things might shock you. Now I'm telling you right now, Fixer is not your traditional sniper. After playing many games with him, I realized something. Now yes, because of Fixer having a sniper, you're able to play him passively, but that is not the only way you can play him. I realize that Fixer is like a goddamn chameleon, being able to adapt to however the enemy team is playing, whether that team is playing passively staying back or aggressively going in guns blazing. But you know the thing that shocked me the absolute most is that Fixer stays consistently effective when having to adapt to the enemy team strats, while Phantom just does not. Now hear me out on this one. Now something that is absolutely crucial if you want to win your ranked games is having the ability to change the way you and your team are playing in a instant because one second a strat can work and the next you and your whole team are getting wiped out and before you know it you already Defeat. lost. Now what allows for Fixer to adapt and Phantom to well not adapt is actually very simple. It primarily comes down to their secondary weapons and their perks. Now, Phantom and Fixer both have amazing secondary weapons, Phantom having the P-12K and Fixer having the new pistol, the Warrant. Now, there is no denying that Phantom's P-12K is amazing, doing 25 body damage with a decent fire rate and a upgradable mag size. However, Fixer's secondary weapon, the Warrant, is just something else. This pistol has become the absolute best secondary weapon in the entire goddamn game. Now I do not think these stats do this gun justice, but let me put it this way, as Fixer, with just my pistol, I do not feel as though I am at a disadvantage, even going up against SMGs at close range, or assault rifles at medium range, and I'm sorry, I just cannot say the same for Phantom's P12K. 
Now what this allows for is that if the enemy team begins to adapt and starts to play aggressively towards the passive sniper, now that sniper needs to be able to effectively defend themselves. And I know without a doubt, as Fixer with my pistol alone, I will be able to effectively and consistently protect myself if that enemy team puts a target on my back. Now, as Phantom, that is just not the case at all. Phantom's pistol to P12K does not give me the security I need if a Scorch or Dahlia attacks me at close range, or if a Demon tries to fight me at medium range with his KA-30. And I cannot and I will not rely solely on my sniper to do all the work, because that is not consistent enough because I'm not fucking Shroud. <laughs> Now to take this even further, Fixer's perks also grant me the extra security if my team needs me to adjust and play more aggressively or if as a sniper I'm being targeted. Now with Fixer we're gonna focus on two of his perks that when combined put him definitely above Phantom. Now Fixer has both the perks Headstrong and Life Drain. Now what this means is that with Headstrong I have an extra 25 HP and now with this new update I can repair that armor so I can consistently damn near heal myself. And with Life Drain every time I down an enemy I get significantly healed. Now if that doesn't sound amazing I don't know what the fuck will. Now Phantom does have the perk Life Drain, but what makes Victor that much better is he has both Headstrong and Life Drain, making it more apparent that Fixer can be played passively or if needed, aggressively. Now to conclude this, I have to say Fixer is just the better choice for ranked because as a Phantom, if that enemy team adapts to you playing passively, Phantom is just not equipped to consistently handle much more than a passive playstyle, while Fixer on the other hand is equipped to handle much more. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget, I post frequently on this channel, so come back if you want high quality Rogue Company content.